Hi, welcome back. Let me ask you something. Learning English is easy, isn't it? I thought so. Tag question. Hi, welcome back. Let me ask you something. Learning English is easy, isn't it? I thought so. Tag questions for opinions. Affirmative statement plus negative tag. Health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? There are lots of criminals in the city, aren't there? Graffiti makes everything look ugly, doesn't it? Colleges should provide daycare, shouldn't they? Negative statement plus affirmative tag. Child care isn't cheap, is it? There aren't enough police, are there? People don't care about our city, do they? You can't find affordable child care, can you? I will begin the explanation telling you when to use tag questions. We use tag questions when we expect someone to agree with us or when we're asking for confirmation. This is how tag questions work. When a statement is affirmative, the tag question is negative. For example, learning English is easy, isn't it? Learning English is our positive statement, and isn't it is our tag question in negative. We may also do it the other way around. Negative statement, affirmative tag question. Child care isn't cheap, is it? I also want to explain that when we use be as the main verb, be is also used in tag question. Similarly, we use the same model in the main clause and the tag. For example, we should pay our taxes, shouldn't we? However, simple present and past verbs use the auxiliary verb in the tag. For example, graffiti makes everything look ugly, doesn't it? You found affordable childcare, didn't you? Hi, I'm sure you understood this topic, didn't you? In case you didn't, Feel free to ask your teacher and watch the explanation if needed. So, what do you think, Luis and Rosa? Did you understand the idea for the tag questions? Uh, I think yes. So, yesterday we made uh, some exercises. Correct. That we, uh, uh, unless I uh, I understood that the way when one sentences is uh, is opposite, right? The 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 sentences is positive. The the task needs to be uh, negative. That is correct, Luis. So, like in the examples that you are looking on the screen, is exactly like your explanation. If the sentence is positive, the tag is negative. The same, if the sentence is negative, the tag is positive. Now, how yes. do you, the, the question is, how do you know what tag to use? How do you know what is the correct tag? Uh, when the sentence is, uh, uh, is made with uh, verb to be, the tax needs to be in saying better, right? And the sentences is not the verb to be, the the, the tax needs to be going uh, uh, auxiliary do or should, we can should, we can use should or we can use a uh, can like modal verbs. Correct. Ex Excellent, Luis. That's the idea. It depend the auxiliary in the sentence. This is the auxiliary for the qu for the for the tag. It's just like a question. If you make this a question, you're going to begin with is. Is health insurance really expensive? But in the tag question, we put at the end. That's the idea. The same thing for the auxiliaries. Do, does, is, are should, can, all of the auxiliary is the same. Whatever auxiliary you use 
in the sentence is the same auxiliary in the tag. But if no auxiliary, for example, graffiti makes everything look ugly, you have to remember how to make a question. For example, ah, uh, does. Does graffiti make everything look ugly? In the normal question, I use does. So is the same idea for the tag question. I see we have a lot of people that came a little bit late. So we're going to watch the video one more time, just to be clear before we do the exercises with tag questions, okay? So one more time, just to be sure for everyone. This is section 5.6 in the platform. Hi, welcome back. Let me ask you something. Learning English is easy, isn't it? I thought so. Tag questions for opinions. Affirmative statement plus negative tag. Health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? There are lots of criminals in the city, aren't there? Graffiti makes everything look ugly, doesn't it? Colleges should provide daycare, shouldn't they? Negative statement plus affirmative tag. Child care isn't cheap, is it? There aren't enough police, are there? People don't care about our city, do they? You can't find affordable child care, can you? I will begin the explanation telling you when to use tag questions. We use tag questions when we expect someone to agree with us or when we're asking for confirmation. This is how tag questions work. When a statement is affirmative, the tag question is negative. For example, learning English is easy, isn't it? Learning English is our positive statement. And isn't it is our tag question in negative. We may also do it the other way around. Negative statement, affirmative tag question. Child care isn't cheap, is it? I also want to explain that when we use be as the main verb, be is also used in the question. Similarly, we use the same model in the main clause and the tag. For example, we should pay our taxes, shouldn't we? However, simple present and past verbs use the auxiliary verb in the tag. For example, graffiti makes everything look ugly, doesn't it? You found affordable childcare, didn't you? Hi, I'm sure you understood this topic, didn't you? In case you didn't, feel free to ask your teacher and watch the explanation if needed. Okay, before we practice the exercises, are there any questions? Is everything okay? I guess yes. Yes. Yes, but but there is some some case in particular that uh, is some difficult to to know the task. But I thought is only practice. Okay. Yes, it's with practice. The most. Usually the most difficult is when there are no auxiliaries, because when you have auxiliaries, it's easy. For example, here is, ah, isn't, are, aren't, or in the negative, isn't, is. So the auxiliaries is easy to understand, but you have to be careful uh -huh. with verbs and with models. In that case, uh -huh. in that case, like graffiti makes and the tag is doesn't it. Correct. How do you know? Because if you make a normal question, the normal question is does. Does graffiti make? So in the do normal question it? does, it's going to be the same. Do you make it? Mm -hmm. Yes, Gladys? Yes, 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 yeah, yeah. Okay, I and understand. the same for the past. If in the past was did, the same the tag did. Okay. Before we begin the practice, any other questions? 
make sure it's clear. There aren't enough police, are there? Okay, so we are going to go in this moment, not do 5.7. We are going to have a little bit of practice with our partners. In the chat, you can see there are four links. Please open the links and make sure that you are ready. There are four links in the chat. The first two links are multiple choice is to help you remember and to help you practice. But link number three and link number four is not multiple choice. It's for you to write the correct answer. Did everybody open the links? Yes, teacher. But uh, there is something that I ask one ask you. Yes. If you can share that in the WhatsApp. I am not in WhatsApp. That's why I can't. Oh. Share. I am on the computer. Oh. But I think somebody in the class is using the cell phone, and they can share to WhatsApp. Yeah. If not. Yeah, because I can copy copy and, and paste, but only uh, click on the link to open them in the other tab. Yes, but when I I, I have the the the, the app uh, the cell phone I can read the the, the link but I understand I think I can do something. It's are okay. You, Gladys, are you on the cell phone? Yeah. Okay. Because it the computer the the internet is more in inestable. Okay, okay. If anybody has the opportunity or is on WhatsApp right now, copy and paste into the into the group to help Gladys. If not, we're going to. I try to fix in a moment, Gladys. No problem. Yeah, but I can I can copy that from. From the web, I guess. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So let's practice with our partners. Thank the you, Jenny. <laughs> oh, Jenny. Hey, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Oh, Dennis. Dennis is right. Not Jenny. Jenny. Ah, okay. Thank ah, you. The two, Jenny and and Denise. Mm -hmm. Thank you both. All right, so let's practice with our partners the four links.
Okay, any questions? Yes. Mm -hmm. I, in one of the exercise, uh, when I try to follow, there was a part that when you, uh, and, and I saw it, when I choose in the third person, when I use she or he, uh, and it says, has, she has something. And in the answer says, hasn't it? Or oh, does, doesn't it? And the answer said that it will be what? Which is the, uh, in which one? Okay, I wish. Let me see. In the second link. Second link, okay. Um, I am looking. The number. Number four. Anya has a red dress. Uh-huh. Anya has a red dress. I I put hasn't she because uh -huh. they are using the the word has, but the correct is but that you can use doesn't she too. But when I look in other item. When you are in the first person and in plural, it's not correct to choose but. And what? that's why I am confused. Why with the third person, yes, but if you use it in day, for example, you cannot use but. Because I tried to do that with other item, but when I choose but, it was incorrect. Okay. So it I have to see the other items, but the idea is because has is a is two, is the function as auxiliary and has function as a verb. So if I make a question, the normal question, Lillian, I say, does, does Anna have a red dress? That's why it's correct does for the auxiliary. Also, has Anna have a red dress? It's really has Anna got a red dress is another way to say for possessions. That's why for has, you can use for does or have. Yes, I, I understand that when I choose and I, I watch that was correct but but. But my, my doubt is that when you uh, use they, you cannot use the same rule because uh, you have to use only have and not done, done on the, the other word. I, I don't know if I am explaining this. Just and just, when you use they is correct also the same. Example, they have a red dress, okay? The uh -huh. same, the same, just uh, uh, they have a red dress, don't they? Is correct. And they have a red dress, haven't they? Is correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. In, the, in that platform, when you choose but is incorrect. In which one? Um, and in the same, but I need to look. Because in the other, there is no third person with have. I have with have. And mm, look. Because it's the the only the only example there is with Anna in the red dress. Mm -hmm. And I look for third person. Mm, maybe in 
Mm. Uh, number 13. Number 13. No, but you have to say, uh huh. Read the, read the statement. They have been playing. Uh huh. Ah, okay. I understand. You need to use only have because it's the auxiliary, no, it's in, in verb in this case. Correct. Uh, I understand now. Okay. <laughs> Okay, good. This is why I say is a little with have you have to be careful because have has two functions, auxiliary or verb. That's why sometimes it's okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Good, good. Anybody else? Any other questions? No. Okay. Great. So now that we are clear and we practiced the idea for tag questions, now we're going to have eight sentences here in 5.7 with your partner and you are going to put in the correct tag. As an example, you can't escape advertising nowadays. And what would be the correct tag? Anybody, anybody, nobody, everybody's confused. I cannot watch the, I put the screen picture, sorry. Okay. What about now, okay. can you see? You can escape advertising nowadays, can you? Exactly, why? because the auxiliary can't. So that means that the tag is the same auxiliary. So now with your partner, we have just a few minutes and we're going to complete the eight exercises on 5.7. Okay. Okay. We ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank 
Okay, guys. Any questions? Teacher. Yes. In no no question with the answer because I guess it's it not difficult. But okay. in the number eight, um, the sentences the city doesn't do enough for stray stray animals. What okay. means stray? Stray animals are animals like dogs or cats in the street. These are stray animals. Uh, okay. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Good. Let's take a look to make sure that it's correct, all of the things that you have. If you see, we have number one was can you, right? Then number two, the auxiliary aren't. So we use are. Number three, auxiliary is, the tag is it. Mm -hmm. Number four, the same, are, we use the opposite, aren't. Here, the model should, so then it's obligation use, shouldn't. Six isn't, so we use is. Seven, the same, is and isn't. And the last one, the auxiliary doesn't, so we use does. It's, it's clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Super excited. I like that everybody understands clearly. Let's take a look at here. We're going to use intonation in tag questions. Let's listen to how to pronounce correctly the tag questions. Listen and practice. Use following intonation in tag questions when you're giving an opinion and want to know if the other person agrees. Intonation in tag questions. Part A. Listen and practice. Use falling intonation in tag questions when you are giving an opinion and want to know if the other person agrees. Ethnic conflict is a terrible problem, isn't it? They should make guns illegal, shouldn't they? Before we go, we want to remind you that you may play the audio programs, explanations, and videos as many times as you need to. It is always a good idea to practice with your friends. Okay. 
So what is the idea? The idea is always at the end, you have falling intonation. So at the beginning high, and then at the end, it's going to go low. Listen and practice. Like that. Ethnic conflict is a terrible problem, isn't it? They should make guns illegal, shouldn't they? So the idea is just to have a little bit of intonation in the final part. Okay. Now, what are we going to do? Here, we're going to take a moment with your partners and we're going to read. It's the last exercise for unit five, which is wonderful. That means we are right on schedule. So with the partners, you're going to read about plagiarism, about plagiarism. And then we're going to give, we're going to answer the questions A through F with the information from here. What is the information is we put the sentences from the first number one to the last number six. No, no number, sorry, no letters, no true, no false. Only we put the number, number one to number six. In which order these activities happen? It's clear what we're going to do? Yeah. Excellent. So with the partner, take turns reading. One, read the article. Two, discuss it. Make sure it's clear. And then number three, put the situation in the correct order. Okay.
Okay, let's take a look and make sure that it's clear. All the vocabulary, pronunciation, and everything. So, okay. Let's begin reading it together to make sure. Okay. Hey, Luis, please read the first paragraph. Recently, a biology, a biology teacher in Kansas and stayed in the American Midwest made national and even international news. After Christine Pelton discovered that 28 of her 118 students had plagiarized part of a major project, she gave them failing grades. Also, this was the school policy. The students' parents complained. The school board directed uh, Mrs. Pelton to change the punishment. They told her that 600 pounds should be taken from that offenders rather than the entire 1800 points. Mrs. Pelton resigned in protest. Okay, thank you very much. With the pronunciation plagiarized, complained and resigned, plagiarized, complained, resigned. All right, let's go with the next one. The next part, Gladys, can you read the next paragraph? I can watch it, teacher. It's loading the, the screen. Oh, okay, okay. So let's go with Lillian then, because... Okay. Mm -hmm. Why did this become such a significant story? Perhaps it is because so many people feel strongly about what is right and wrong. Although the incident may soon be forgotten, it raised some important questions. What is black purism? How serious it is? Okay. How serious is it? Is it? Sorry. <laughs> okay. It's okay. Good. All right. Jenny, please read the next paragraph. The simplest, the simplest form of plagiarism occurs when someone copies material without giving credit to the source. However, there are also more serious forms, such as when a student pays someone else to write an essay. Good. Essay. Essay. Mm -hmm. Good. Thanks. Yep. Sandra, please read the next paragraph. Um, um, some people claim that copying is necessary to do well in the school. They have relate uh, that their own work are not as good as someone else. And not another common argument is that everyone does, does it. So it's not a big deal. In fact, it, uh, it has been learned that even some high, highly responded figures, including Martin Luther King Jr., have plagiarized. Okay, thank you. Pronunciation, respected, and plagiarized. Thank you. You're welcome. Jasmine, read the next one. Although some people find reasons to justify plagiarism, others feel the issue is clear cut. They feel it is morally wrong and consider it stealing a diff of ideas rather than money. 
these people believe that the student who plagiar, plagiar, plagiarize benefit unfairly, they receive a better grade than they deserve. Good. Pronunciation, plagiarize. Plagiarize. Good. Mm -hmm. And Alejandra, can you read the last part? Okay, the last one, right? Yes. Okay, so what about the incident in Kansas? Was the regional punishment too severe? Do teachers have uh, the right to tell students and parents what is right or wrong? Ms. Bolton will probably say that the job of the teacher is to do exactly that. Great, thank you so much. Are there any words that you don't know? Punishment. Punishment. When you do something bad, your mom punishes you. Sometimes hit you, sometimes tell you to stay in your room. This is the punishment. Okay, thanks. Welcome. The others are okay? All right, so then let's check the answers. What was number one? What was the first thing? Number six. Number one is which letter? A is six. A is six. Okay. All right, what about B? What is B? Two. 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 Good. C? Three. Okay. Um, D? Five. Good. E? One. One. And the last one? Four. Four. Hey, very nice job. Good, good reading comprehension. All of those are correct. Great. So now with this, we finish 5.10. This means tomorrow we have a small review and then we begin the final exam. So tomorrow, a review and then the final exam. Any questions? No questions. No questions? Okay, thank you so much. I see you tomorrow for our second to the last class, or almost our last class. Okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Tomorrow. All right. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye. Bye.